Fox 4 community correspondent Bella Line live at the base of the bridge in downtown Fort Myers. Bella, what can you tell us about the latest about what's going on right now? The problem area that we're seeing right now is this Park Avenue and First Street intersection. This is an area that we have seen flood before actually. People that live in this um, apartment complex right at this intersection actually came out and told me that this happens all the time. Anytime there's a heavy rainfall in this area and they're just sick of it is what they said. So I want you to actually take a look at this video that our Fox 4 Anvar Ruzi I've got earlier of police putting up barricades on many of the side streets that actually caused an issue for me trying to get down here to do this live shot live shot for you guys because there's almost nowhere to park right now in downtown but people are trying to get home from work. Um, we saw a lot of very angry drivers coming through this area, going around those barricades, and they're giving out tickets for that. So if, if you're trying to get home, make sure you don't go around those barricades. We've seen numbers of people coming through and getting tickets from Fort Myers Police Department. But we spoke with um, Public Information Officer for FMPD, Kristen Capuzzi, and she told us that there's really no time frame that they can give right now on when this is going to open back up. So there's no real way to tell when it will be reopened in the northbound lanes, but I would say that probably throughout the night, you know, we would expect to have the, the bridge reopen, but it would not be most likely until this evening, late this evening. Officers are directing people to either take 75 to get back over into North Fort Myers or the Midpoint Bridge over into Cape Coral, but we'll keep you up to date on how this area is looking. Thankfully, it is receding, but we'll give you an update at 630.